All right guys, welcome to 50 Trades of Greystone. And uh, the reason I started this, originally this series, is to give you guys an insight into the diversity in my style of trading and how you must have the ability to adapt depending on the market situation, whether we're bullish, bearish, or in consolidation. And um, it's important that you are able to adapt, especially if you're looking to you know, get lots and lots of opportunities in the market. And if you're trading full time, well, it's good to have lots of opportunities. So uh, in this episode, we're going to show you a, a small bat pattern is a day trade. I want to show you a day trade uh, down on the lower time frames, typical trade setup in the London live room. And uh, I'm going to walk you through that trade. And this is the bat pattern. So get your pen and paper and enjoy. All right, so uh, this is the bat pattern. This is one of a few trades that were in this morning. Uh, but I wanted to go through the bat because this is a, a trade that we haven't featured on 50 trades before. So um, this is the bat pattern, and it's another advanced pattern. Uh, those of you familiar with these patterns know that they're very, very profitable. Uh, we went through the cipher pattern early on in the, uh, in the series. This one's slightly different. So this is a conventional XABCD pattern, okay, where you... Uh, Unlike the cipher pattern where you penetrate the the A leg, which is uncomfortable for some people to, to trade. Uh, but this one is a conventional, bit more like a Gartley setup, has slightly different rules. Uh, we're looking for not so far of a retracement into the B leg. And we're looking for just a short retracement for that C leg to qualify. Once we qualify for the B and C legs, we can look for that D completion. And, and these, uh, I still find it very, very fascinating, even though I've been doing this for years. Uh, just how these patterns are respected, you can see we drew on the, the purple triangles there to, to uh, identify the patterns during the analysis. You can see in the last <clears throat> couple of minutes, we've just pushed up and, uh, and filled out limit order. These are aggressive patterns. I trade these very aggressively by setting limit orders. I don't enter it, I don't uh, have to watch the market or anything like that. And typically this trade lasts, uh, these trades, these little day trades that we take during the London session between the hours of 8 and uh, uh, eight and 11, um, they don't last very long. They're quick in-out trades. This is like uh, just, just day trading. And usually these type of trades last half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, but you can see we, we entered this and it just rolled straight over. We're seeing some bearish move now. And uh, hopefully, w what we're going to see is a push down to that limit order set in there for my profits, my profit target order uh, sitting down there. Um, sitting down there at 1.14.30. So hopefully we can push down there. We'll keep an eye on this. We're going to move on to the other pairs, see if we can get involved in anything else because we're in a few other trades as well. So we've got to manage those. Uh, but I'll, I'll come back to this in a minute and we'll update you uh, if we if we uh, hit targets. All right, so you can see we've uh, the, the, the last candle closed. It was a bit of a doji candle, so it was a bit of indecision there. Not quite sure what uh, what's going to happen here. Just adjusting my targets with price action slightly. Just because we spiked beyond that decompletion, I like to adjust my targets with price. Because I'm always looking for that 382 retracement for that initial target. But uh, we're certainly pushing down. Hopefully we can uh, we can hit targets on this. If we do, we're looking at we're looking at around 15 pips. This is a, a day trade, typical day trade in out. Um, I like to only involve myself in trades that have a minimum of 10 pips initial targets. So uh, anything under 10 pips, it's not really worth uh, my while taking. So this one is a yen pair, typically a higher ATR than some of the other pairs, perhaps. And uh, we've got a 15 pip profit, which is pretty decent for a little day trade like this. Um, so we're just waiting for price action to push down. This is another good demonstration of, of uh, discipline as well. Because, you know, most traders will see this type of thing. They'll see price action push down. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll be impatient. They'll close out the trade, ending up taking not as much profit as they could have. And what happens is, is they become greedy. Uh, the fear of missing out as well on on the on the trade, and also uh, wh what happens when they start to take you know when it goes against them, they end up taking a bigger loss than they should. I mean you can see price action is just ticking down to that 382 now. Come on, get down there. We can close this off and get on to the next one. And come on, 
There you go. So we've got out of this trade, 15 pips. Uh, let's move on to the others that we're managing. All right, so that's it. That's the bat pattern. Um, many, many other different trading uh, strategies to come. Uh, we're, we're, only, we're only a few in and there's many more to come. But I thought I'd show you the bat pattern and, uh, and, and again, give you guys an insight into how diversified my trading uh, setups are based on what's happening in the market. So that was the bat pattern. If you're interested in learning these patterns, we do a course just for the pattern. So you don't have to understand price action, how to read a price chart, structure, support resistance. You don't need to learn any of that stuff. You can literally just trade these patterns which are very effective and uh, people like that because they're very easy to learn, easy to test and then easy to implement. So links below for the pattern trader course, links below for all the other courses as well. Don't forget to share this channel as well. We're having a bit of a spring clean on the Trading Powered channel. It got a bit cluttered. We're gonna structure that thing so it's nice. Uh, and until next time, take care and I'll see you then.